stopped your regular programming for this breaking news. A companion hollow has suddenly appeared on 14th Street and has already breached level 3 containment. The Hollow Investigative Association has dispatched a team to the scene to carry out emergency protocols. Evacuation process in nearby blocks is underway. Please stay away from the 14th Street area. Wise, come check this out. What's that? 14th Street? I think the news mentioned it earlier. Give me a sec. Yeah, in the Janus Quarter. They say it's already breached the level 3 controls. Yeah. Public security were conducting a manhunt over there today. Evacuations may not be going as expected. So you're saying? We should get ready. We'll be seeing some business coming our way soon. Cool. Now we play the winning game.
confirmed. We've fallen into a hollow. Let's get going. An ethereal. That was quick. Metro Junction. If that's the case, then this must be the Cretan Hollow. <sighs> Good. Headset still works, and the recording function is normal. <clears throat> this is Anby Damara, a member of the Odd Job Agency, the Cunning Hairs. I accidentally fell into a companion hollow. I don't have a carrot or proxy support. Probability of getting lost in the hollow is at 96.4%. I will be making a voice log of my experience. Let it serve as evidence for future investigation in the case I am killed or turned into a monster by the ether. Ambi's Hollow Survival Log Number One. From my surroundings, I can confirm this is the old Metro Junction area of the Cretan Hollow. The Metro Hollow's terrain is inherently complex. My chances of being rescued will be reduced by 37.8% if I don't consider my next step carefully. If anyone doubts the nature of the Hollow's spatial distortions, please use my recording as proof of their danger. Please don't enter a hollow unless you are a professional investigator. Otherwise... Uh, there you are, Anby! Great! I knew you'd be okay! Whoa, whoa! Hey! What's gotten into you? You almost got me! I've met another being of reason. He looks a lot like my colleague, Billy Kidd. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me! Billy! An investigator has previously encountered ethereals who can mimic human speech and behavior. The investigator rescued the ethereal pretending to be their teammate, but once they got out of the hollow, it revealed itself. The city made a huge sacrifice, but it was unable to defeat the monster. It was only thanks to a courageous investigator who gave his life to drive the monster back into the hollow that the danger was averted. Come on, the ethereal would be done for the minute it left the hollow. Wait, isn't that the plot of that movie that was in theaters not long ago? There was a long list of victims involved in the incident. I read all their names. That's called a cast list! Question. Who would you most like to have dinner with? Huh? Dinner? <laughs> of course. That'd be the big screen superheroes! <laughs> the Starlight Knights! Wait, wait, wait! Put your plate down! I'll tell you! <sighs> It's really the late-night drama actress from... Oh, sweetie... Monica... <laughs> All clear. The individual has been confirmed as the real Billy Kid. Meeting Billy Kid increases my chances of survival by over 67.8%. I'm glad you're okay, Billy. I told you I'm me! It's been a while since we fell. Nicole must be trying to come up with a way to get us out from the outside. But... Will she be willing to pay for the help? You know how Nicole is. <laughs> Based on Nicole's tight-fisted spending habits, I'd say your original analysis is likely correct. Damn. Now you've got me worried. Let's not get carried away. We have to work together to get through this. As usual, you take the front, and I'll provide fire support from behind. Right. Right.
Which one? is so intense. I don't think this guy has any ether aptitude at all. His consciousness is still holding on. He's the core. <laughs> this guy's a tough one. Ampy, get ready. Roger that. for a hand. Watch out. And Slash does also have a wide range! Let's clear him out! Starlight, shine bright!
We're returning now to 14th Street, where an explosion occurred on one of the upper floors of a residential building, shortly after the appearance of a companion hollow. According to our sources, the explosion was set off by public security. The leader of the Red Fang Gang is thought to have fallen into the hollow and is yet to be brought to justice. The head of public security has refused to comment. The bomb squad is on the way. Please, stay away from 14th Street. We'll continue to follow this breaking story. Hey! Listen up! I was there when that explosion took place! This is an emergency! Billy, Anby, and the target of my commission have fallen into that hollow. I need a proxy's help now! Hello, Nicole. It'd be nice of you to knock next time. I feel like I hear of your urgent needs at least three times a month, Nicole. You can make fun of me all you want after you help me deal with this crisis. Please, legendary proxy Faithin. What, what trouble, trouble did, did you, you get, get yourself, yourself into, into this time? time? I just checked. Doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious outside. Don't worry, I wasn't followed. It took a lot to get out of 14th Street unnoticed, but I made sure nobody was tailing me. I hope so. I know things have been tight lately with the general election just around the corner. They're really cracking down on proxies. They set up a hotline and... So what's the hurry, Nicole? Which creditor is chasing after you this time? That's not it! I was set up by public security and that angry reporter from Redo TV. So Billy and Ambie fell into a hollow. I have to get them out. And I need to get back what I've been commissioned to deliver. It's an emergency and you're the only ones who can help. Why don't you make a rescue application with the Hollow Investigative Association? I... don't want to make us a target for the association right now. If they found we'd been involved in Hollow raiding, we'd be in big trouble. And it'd take a small fortune to pay those greedy vultures off. But I can't just abandon my squad, right? Leaving employees behind. That does sound a lot like Nicole's style. Hey, don't be mean. I allocate a large portion of our revenue to the employee rescue budget. Look, all in all, my request is simple. All you need to worry about is getting my people and my client's stuff out of the hollow safely. You don't accept basic proxy work now? Faithen, finish this job and I'll clear my entire bill in one go. You've been dodging your bill for months, Nicole. You should think about the interest. Fine. I'll give you a share of the commission payment. Does that cover it? <laughs> That'll do it. Great! There's no time to waste. I'll be waiting for you in the hollow. Uh -uh. Nicole, are you hurt? You should stay and rest a while before heading back out. But... Uh... Just listen to my brother. We'll also need your help to take Eo somewhere close to the hollow later. Oh... Deploying your bangboo double, huh? Okay. Bro, how about you tend to Nicole's wound first? I'll go debug the HDD and help you with the prep work to infiltrate the hollow. Well then, let's get down to business.
Hello? Can you hear me, Nicole? You can put Eos through now. Okay. Right, little one. Off you go, then. <laughs> Done. Bang Boo's on the way. <sighs> so... Can we start it up? Superior ethereal anymore. Great. I feel like my legs' pistons are gonna break. I propose now is a good time to take a break. Is that acceptable, Proxy? You all rest. I'll take the first watch. Thanks, Proxy. Whew. That was dangerous. It's crazy what a powerful monster that Red Fang dude mutated into. It's all thanks to you, manager! You got us out of there in the nick of time! As expected from Faithen, reliable as always! You flatter me. I'm just doing what any proxy does. I figured to save money, Nicole would have left us to fend for ourselves. Hiring the great Faithen to get us out is quite a surprise. If you hadn't come, I'm afraid we wouldn't have made it out of that Ethereal's territory. Thanks for coming to the rescue. Speaking of which, I've always wanted to ask you about that device in your store. You know, the one that lets you sync with Bang Boo and communicate in real time within Hollow. That's some serious tech! Even Public Security and the Hollow Investigative Association can't do it. With a trump card like that, why didn't you just join the association? Whatever way you look at it, working with us Hollow Raiders has to be more dangerous than the profit is worth. That sounds like an ethereal. Ugh, so soon? I only just sat down. We have to get out of here. Unless, Billy, you'd like to stay here forever? That new Starlight Night Belt you wanted. I guess I'll place it at your grave next year. When you say things like that with that poker face of yours, I can't tell if you're joking or not! Let's get moving. Follow me. Leave any combat along the way to us. <laughs> you just focus on leading the way. Of course, it'd be nice if you lend a hand if battles get a little too intense. I've located the closest exit. Take the path on the right, Wise. Please, manager, lead the way. area. Fortunately, there are no ethereals on our tail. Let's keep pushing to the exit. Hello observation data. The more the better. Please, manager, lead the way. You 
enemies incoming. Don't let your guard down. Shaking. Ethereals. They're catching up, Proxy. What should we do? Fight. It's cool. Just come with me. This trackline machine. We can use this. It'll be faster if we keep to the track. Scanning for safety valve data. This system log shows that the valve is unlocked by inserting the preset amount of gear coins. Uh, even in a hollow, they're seriously gonna charge a toll? Even if I agree, the Starlight Knights wouldn't agree! And even if the Starlight Knights agreed, Nicole wouldn't agree! So take that! Starlight Mirage! Agent Billy detected. He is forcing the valve lock with the butt of his gun. Valve detected. Open. But Agent Billy has suffered partial damage to his hand's exoskeleton. Ow! It hurts! I've got goosebumps. It's so powerful! Can you even get goosebumps, Billy? It's a metaphor, all right. Let's just focus on the enemy. Smash it? You wanna smash through it? 
I don't have that kind of firepower right now. Don't worry. Just do what my brother says. That voice. No! It's the other Phaeton! You're finally online. Sorry. I was checking to make sure the hollow exit was stable. Billy, Anby, can you hear me? My brother was right about the escape route. You know space inside the hollows is totally distorted. That means... A way out may look like a dead end. But a dead end may also just be a dead end. Thanks for the explanation, Anby. Our escape route after getting out has been arranged. You can trust us. Hey, bro, you can cut the connection now. See you at the store. Good luck, you two. It's gone quiet. It became a regular bangu. Why would they desync at a time like this? Going straight forward. Price for impact. We're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash! The oppressive weight of ether is gone. Oh, we're out! We're finally out! <laughs> Faith and got the time and location spot on. Hey, you two! Get in the car! <laughs> You're here! Perfect timing! That was fast, Nicole. Did you run a red light again? No. We just passed a normal green light. R255 in the RGB scale. Oh, right! I made sure I wasn't followed the whole way. Anby, what does an R255 green light look like? It's the same color as your jacket. Nicole, they've both been extracted. I guess it's time to pay up. Not so fast. That's not what we agreed on. The commission was my people and the client's item. You've only completed the first half. Don't worry, Nicole. We remember. It's just a joke. I knew Faithen was the most reliable and trustworthy. According to what we saw before extraction, the strongbox should be in the territory of a highly dangerous ethereal. The White Star Institute has it registered as Dullahan, a superior ethereal. That's the one. That Red Fang dude was unlucky. His ether corruption must have been pretty intense, considering he's become such a dangerous ethereal. Anby and I tried to grab the strong box, but that guy was so tough! We didn't get the chance before we got extracted. What exactly is in that box? Is it worth all this effort? Mm-hmm. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Take a look at this. So it looks like a necklace, but it's actually a flash drive? That's right! It's a mini storage device. It's Silver's. I picked it up in the building before I got out of 14th Street. I noticed it before. He always had it on his person, so it must contain something important. <laughs> I bet it has something to do with a strong box. But it suffered some damage. Yeah, look at all those burn marks. Faithen, can you do some of your mm, magic using that complicated computer of yours? The HDD is mainly used to process hollow data. But if we only need to export what's in the flash drive. <gasps> hey, bro, maybe I could try to recover the data with the proxy network's computing power. Great, it's a deal then. We'll try to locate the strong box in the hollow. We'll come find you when we learn something new. Let's just go our separate ways until then. Oh, don't forget to extract the data from the flash drive, though. See ya, manager. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 